Okay, Philip. These fifth graders are about to become sixth graders. You know their names, right? 100%. Okay, I'm actually going to test you on that. So I've prepped some flashcards to see if you really do know them. Who's this? You know what? This is not going to work. I've got another way. I've got my own way. I've got my own flashcards. Okay. So get ready to be amazed. Kate Coleman. Logan Crisp. Fresh Prince. Jazzy Jeff. Jazzy. Carmen Vargas. Noemi Dobson, Kennedy Bowers, Caleb Hammock, A.O. Anna Owens, Kevin Graves, a Hunter being subtle, must be Hunter Suttles, Krista Kirby, a couple plumbers, Kate Plummer, Charlie Neal, Cody Hyde, Caitlin Mallicote, Zachary Mitchell, Houston Wheeler, Grayson White, easy, Charlotte Wilms. Told you, 100%. So how does that help you learn their faces? Hello, family, and welcome to another edition of What's Good. It's good to be back in the office. Good thing number one. The sixth graders are moving up next week, and also next week we're getting back together. Yay. So, like two good things in one. Good thing number two. These guys are finally here. That's right, our interns have rolled into town, and I am so excited. Deuces, losers. It's time for What's Terrible. Let's set one thing straight. Interns are the worst. The worst. The worst. Some of you haven't gotten to meet them yet. I'll spare you the trouble. Chandler Ross. I mean, what kind of name is that? His middle name's probably Joey. Lame. Annabeth Marlin. What can I say except I'm not a Marlin fan. It's probably a toss-up as to whether Annabeth Marlin or the Florida Marlins have more fans. And Jesse Bates. More like Jess E. Bates, because we must have got this guy some kind of discount. He's the worst, and don't even get me started on CC Spencer. Hey there, guys. I'm CC Spencer, and I'm a sophomore at Freed Hardman University. I major in Bible and psychology, and I'm a lover of all things yellow, coffee, traveling, and Mexican food. No. Good thing number three. We are officially ready to unveil our youth group summer calendar. In fact, right about now, you should be receiving that sent to your phone if you're subscribed to us on Remind. If you're not subscribed on Remind, why not? Tell me and I'll fix that. Just a few things to cover on the calendar that are interesting. All right, so most of this is pretty self-explanatory, so I won't go over every single detail, but a few things that are worth pointing out. Um, you'll see a lot of things that are familiar to you, like Monday Night Madness, um, Pray and Play, Soak Up the Sun, but a few things about that that are different. We're having to, in order to be more social distant and all that kind of stuff, we're, broke, we're breaking down a lot of the larger events and the smaller events. So Monday Night Madness is only going to be for the high school. And then on Tuesday, we're going to have Tuesday Night Madness only for the middle school. Pray and Play on Monday is going to be for middle school. Pray and Play on Tuesday for the high school. Soak up the sun on Monday for the middle school. You guys get the idea. Teen VBS is still on the calendar. Teen VBS will be completely outdoors. We're also going to move it into the evening slot uh, in hopes that us being outdoors, it'll be a little bit cooler. So, Teen VBS, still here. Good thing. More calendar things. Technically, right now, Chisel and Sculpt are still on the calendar. They are planned for July 20, I'm sorry, 19th through 21st. So we're hoping we can still have those. It's just kind of penciled in right now. If conditions improve and if your parents feel good about it, hopefully we'll still get to have chisel and sculpt provided that it's a safe play. 
and uh, a good thing for us to do that. So hopefully Chisel and Sculpt will stay. Yay. Two new things that I want to tell you about. One of them is TAG. Technically TAG is not new, but it's been about five years since we've done it. TAG stands for Tell About God. It is a week for high school students where we teach you how to lead a one-on-one -on -one Bible study, how to teach someone the gospel. And the last interesting event that appears on our calendar appears July 24th through 26th. It's an event we're calling Not Camp. There is no way that we can replace camp. You know it. I know it. However, this virus has taken away a spring retreat, a junior-senior retreat, and now camp. So what can we do to give back to you guys some of the things that have been taken away. That's where not camp comes in. What does it look like exactly? I don't really know yet, but I do know this. High school students, you don't want to miss it. We're going to do our very best to make it something memorable that you want to be a part of. So mark your calendars and stay tuned. Good thing number four, the senior graduation ceremony and senior spotlight are happening this weekend. Ceremony at two, senior spotlight at three, 30. Good thing number five, you guys know what time it is. A happy birthday to Ethan Crawford, Will Kirby, Addison Johnson, and Jake Zumbro. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ethan, Will, Addison, and Jake. Happy birthday to you. And finally, good thing number six. I just want to say a quick word of thanks to everybody who's helped us get through the Zoom era of youth ministry. I know everybody hates being apart, but it sure would have been a lot worse if not for some really key individuals who helped make this thing a whole lot more manageable. Thank you to Tracy Shannon, who hosted a cooking show for us. Thank you to Lacey Haynes and my wife, Laura, who hosted Stretch for us. Thank you to Tyler and Sean for hosting Man Stuff. Thank you to Craig Evans, who taught us how to prepare... Uh, lessons from God's Word, and a huge thank you to Caitlin Harris, who kept her painting class going every week for several weeks in a row. Thank you for doing that. Again, I know we're looking forward to being back together, but you guys made this pandemic a lot more fun, so thank you for that. How could I be so foolish? I can't believe I forgot this. Thank you so much. A huge thanks to this guy. Made the pandemic so much more fun. Tonight's lesson is brought to us by Jody Marble. No stranger to you guys. I love Jody. I know you do too. Watch this. See you very soon.